Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is just going to be another um, unboxing video of all the other videos that are probably already out there on the internet. So if the, uh, in the off chance that other people do watch this video, I'm just doing my own version. And uh, it's pretty much just going to be a straightforward unboxing. And I'm probably going to put the original, because I do have one of the original PS5 consoles as well, um, from when they launched. And I'm just going to kind of do a size comparison and kind of uh, give you some little tidbits of information about the console since they released. It's already been over a week, so this is kind of late. I'm kind of late to the party on this one, but, you know, I figure better late than never. I'm just going to put something up pretty much for the sake of putting something up, too. I'm definitely going to be pretty awkward trying to get this out of here, I think. Let's see if we can just get that out. I feel like everybody's probably already gone through most of the videos that the Digital Foundry and other people have put up. Other folks have probably done way better jobs at explaining everything, all the consoles and, you know, the complexities and like tearing them apart and everything. I know Mystic has done one too. I'm a huge fan of Mystic. He does pretty good videos. But uh, it's kind of a, let's see, looking like we have, let's see where else, I think that's pretty much it. Let's see where the controller is here. I feel like that would be something that's Doing that. I'm just gonna pull it out. Down here below. Okay, so they have all the stuff down here, like the cords and everything. I'm just kind of tearing into it. I don't even know if you guys can see all that. There's the cords. They're just everything's on the bottom. Bottom of the box. Controllers on the bottom. Nothing different about the controller. I think this is a different uh, revision of the PS5 controller, so not really anything too special, but I think there's some things that have been done to these controllers over the years. I don't really know all the revisions of these controllers, though, so I'm not going to go into that. But, I <clears throat> already have it out here. And like I said, if you've already watched other people do theirs and gone through all of it, they've done it, they broke it down, and they probably... Did a way better job than I would. Just doing my own version of it. I think I wouldn't recommend. There we go. Here she is. And I wouldn't recommend getting one of these again, like I've said in the last video that I did on these consoles. Like, it does look like it's pretty skinny, though. Like it's still kind of tall, but a little bit skinny. It's just a little slimmed down and everything. And I do have, let's see, look at all the ports and everything that are on this. Pretty sure this is where all the, the disk drive and everything. See the USB C ports, power. There's the ports back here. Looks like some, uh, what is that, USB Type 2? I don't even know. USB, I'm not even sure. Um, <clears throat> and then an HDMI. So yeah, that's the, that's the console right there. So nothing really too special that you already haven't seen, but she's pretty nice. I like it. I like the way it looks and everything. I kind of like the ribbed kind of look to it. Now I'm just going to do a direct comparison to the to the original. I'm just going to kind of put them side by side here. Kind of get a, an idea of how these look. Like how big they are. So here's the original model right there. Kind of get a rough estimate. 
it does look like it's I mean you can't really tell based on this but because I have it at a certain angle and stuff I guess I can kind of get an idea having them side by side like that I said I'm not setting this up perfectly or anything like that I'm just kind of winging it and just throwing it up there so oh yeah it looks like the, the original model's considerably fatter and the, the overall height of it looks about the same though definitely looks skinnier the the pro model looks skinnier and all those good things um i'm looking forward to see like if it's going to make as much noise or anything like that but i'm going to actually probably pause this video and actually get the because i do have disk drive as well just to slap on there I'm gonna to try to pop it on there eventually I'm gonna probably do some comparisons or something I don't know I'm just gonna put up some videos you know talking about my experience with it but for now I'm just kind of gonna throw this up there and <clears throat> so pause the video and I'm gonna to try to get the uh, but yeah, I think I would definitely recommend going to other videos though if you want to look up more details on these consoles because Digital Foundry, Mystic, and other people have like torn these down and you get like a really good breakdown of everything. So, okay, so now I'm back. It didn't really take too long to get the uh, disk drive on there. I believe I have everything secured on there because it kind of just pops in. It's really not an extensive process. I could have probably shown that too, just me putting it on there, but just take some clips off the original plastic and then have a disk drive ready. I would recommend probably getting them, not from like eBay because those ones are going for like 100, 120 bucks. You can find one that's still out there for around 80 bucks. It's probably the best method to do it. I'm sure you can probably find them at some Walmarts or maybe even PlayStation Direct sometimes. Like, I think some of them are sold out, though. So, and it does look a little bit fatter with that on there. I mean, but overall, it's still much slimmer. And I do still like the ribbed look and everything. There's really not much else I can really add to it before, you know, I actually do any actual comparisons or playing and all that stuff. And get everything registered because you have to get the disk drive registered and all that. I'm just probably going to put it on the PC. Just connect everything. Either that or connect it out here to my OLED, but I don't know. Not very much else I could probably say to it. Um, yeah, it is pretty cool. Like I said, it's an enthusiast console, so, you know, make your own choice if you really think you need one. Because the video games that are out right now, you're probably not going to get much of a benefit. You might get some, but maybe future future games and stuff like that, you'll probably receive more boosts, more enhancements and stuff like that. But, you know, just make your own choice on it. Do some uh, research and stuff if you're going to actually buy one of those. Because it is an investment. But again, like the last video I put up, it's, you know, like, if it's equivalent or similar to a $1,500 PC, then I would definitely say that the hardware and components are probably worth it. Um, and you're probably getting a pretty good good deal. Uh, that's if you really want one, though. If not, just stick with the, the old one there or a slim model, and then you'll be good to go right there. So that's all I really have to say. Uh, subscribe, do the things if you guys choose to or if you feel like you want to. And I'll see you guys on the next one.